Hi, I'm Victoria and I work for the Queen's Lovely Things and I'm here today to do a review on the cycling mask. I am not a doctor or a healthcare worker, nor do I profess to be a mask expert. I'm simply sharing my information with you with regard to these masks and my experience with regard to these masks and my knowledge. So here we go my review on mask number one and a series of reviews on mask. This is the cycling mask. This mask has two breathing bulbs and an N95 filter on the back. This mask provides very good coverage. It's easily put on It can be adjusted by the nose bridge and you can breathe in it. The thing I like about this mask, ladies, is you can still wear your earring. Yay. Okay, back to business. On a scale of one to three, three being the highest, I would say, that this mask is about a two. It's in the middle as far as breathing is concerned. It can be hard to breathe in at times, but it is excellent as far as droplet prevention and coverage. You cannot blow out a candle with this mask. If this mask is properly fitted on your face, droplets will definitely not penetrate it. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't work for the FDA. Don't come get me. I'm just telling you my experience. I've done the spray test and it works. This mask is very easy to clean. If you look at my first video, the cleaning instructions are there and it dries very quickly. It is also available in many colors. It's my favorite. It's the beige camo. Here's the camouflage. Nice, pretty red. Here's black for you New York girls and men. And here it is in a pretty blue. Filters and evolve replacement parts are available on our website. You can check it out there. Thanks for watching our video. Our next video will cover the sponge mask that people either love or hate. That mask also has great coverage. Thank you for watching the Queen's Lovely Things review of masks.